gonna be doing so many bookish things. Welcome to today's video. My name is Amber. If you're new, you guys know the drill. Today we're going to be doing the ultimate like bookish video. We're going to be doing a ton of stuff. We're going to be doing some journaling, book hauls, like mini book hauls throughout this whole video, going to the bookstore, all of that sort of stuff. So we have a lot to do. I really wanted to give you guys a reading update because I started a new book last night, but I'm actually reading this for another video. So I'm not really gonna like update you guys too much in this video, but I started a novel love story by Ashley Poston. This is her new release and I'm so excited. This came out while we were on our cruise. So like the second we got back, I was like, I'm gonna buy this book because I need something to look forward to. Isn't this the most stunning book? Like it's such a beautiful cover. I love her covers. I feel like they're so simple, but they're they're also so gorgeous like they're all so pretty i only need to buy the dead romantics and i'll have all of her books and i will have not read any of them but that's okay <laughs> i started reading this book and i am really enjoying it so far i'm not very far into it i'm like 20 30 pages in i'm trying to finish this decently soon <laughs> because i am so excited tomorrow a really anticipated release of mine comes out which you guys probably already know what it is it's probably like in the thumbnail and stuff but I'm so excited. I pre-ordered it. Really want to read it right when I get it, but I'm hoping maybe I can finish this tomorrow or the next day and then get into that release because I'm really excited for it. And I was really excited for this one too, but I'm really enjoying it. Today we're going to be doing some book shopping and I figured I'd bring you guys all along. I'm really excited. We're going to this new Barnes that is two floors because we don't have any barns that have two floors like near us so i'm really excited about that and then we're probably gonna get lunch and then we're going to target because target's having a buy two get one free book sale which i woke up to this morning and i had no clue that they were doing that so i'm like so excited i have a couple books in mind i want to get but i'm not really sure which direction i'm gonna go in because i have some books that i haven't read that i want to get but i also have books i have already read that i want to get because i don't own them and i want them on my bookshelf like the books i really really liked that i've read on my kindle so i don't really know which direction we're gonna go in but that's what we're gonna do i also need to show you guys my outfit because I just got these shorts on amazon and they're so cute they're these little red like boxer shorts and i think that they're adorable and then i already have this shirt from princess polly but yeah i want to see if i can find any of the books that are on my list and any of the ones that like are on my radar right now either like i said ones i haven't read or ones i've already read that I just want to add to my bookshelf. anything at Barnes & Noble but I did get books at Target because I haven't buy to get one free which I told you guys so I'll show you guys what I ended up getting so I actually saw this book at Barnes but then it was too expensive so Barnes. he hates when I say Barnes this is <laughs> Half Blood by Jennifer Armitro which I actually own the indie covers of this and they're just now republishing it into like pretty covers I'll put a picture of what the indie covers look like on the screen they're like they're not horrible, but they're not great. I'm really, really excited. This includes a novella in the beginning too, so the book doesn't even start until like here. So I can like go back and read the novella later. It has the purple sprayed edges, which are so pretty. And then I just love this cover. I think it's so pretty. And I love Jennifer Armitrout. I need to read her other series, like her other fantasy books, because I've only read her like, like urban fantasies or like paranormal romance, I guess it is. Then I had to get this book because Destiny just read it and she like was obsessed with it. So 
Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan. Monaghan? I forget how people said that you're supposed to say this. But I'm really excited to read this because she said it was a six star read for her. I see someone approaching. They're just going by the car. <laughs> Why is there always someone walking by when I'm trying to film? It's so annoying. And now he's laughing. At, he's not laughing at me. I'm really excited to read this. It's a perfect summer read and I need to get a few more summer reads in before I start my fall reading which is probably going to be the end of August because I'm like so excited for all my fall books. I also got Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I've been wanting to get this book for so long but I just never have bought it but this is the perfect opportunity honestly. I've just heard great things about this and honestly I'm really really crossing my fingers that this is going to give like to all the boys I loved before vibes, like Jenny Han, because I love her like YA romances. It just feels so like cutesy and like lighthearted, and I really want a nice little lighthearted, cute YA romance. So I feel like I love YA, YA romances honestly more than I like adult sometimes. Like I just like the lighthearted vibes. So I'm really excited. I read one other Lynn Painter book and I really, really liked it. It wasn't like my absolute favorite, but it was one of her adult books and I've heard her YA is better. So those are my three. Wait, what's YA? Oh, Young Adult. Young Adult. I'm teaching him all I knew that. these like book terms and we were going over like a bunch of ones that he was like, what the heck is that? I knew and YA. I forget. No, you didn't. These are my three books. It was only $30 for three books. Honestly, the buy two, get one free is always my excuse to buy more books because when can you get them cheaper than buy two, get one free? So anyway, success on the book shopping. I'm excited. These are going on my TBR cart because I haven't read any of those. So. Can I do my haul? What did you get? Well, you don't know this new one that I just got. <laughs> I bought a speaker. <laughs> you got something that everyone will know what it is, hopefully. I know what it is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's a huge fan of Paul Wesley. I actually really am. Anyway, <laughs> that's my haul. This clip and is that's unhinged. Justin's haul. I guess I have to delete half of it because you're boogie. No, no. It just came out just now. Can I show the part where it came out? No. <laughs> I actually just got this in the mail and I'm so excited because I've been really wanting to redo my Kindle stickers. Because I was looking back and I think I did these stickers in like March or maybe even early like February. I don't even know. I did these a while ago and I just got these stickers, which I feel like I'll show you guys like what they look like because they there's so many cute ones. This is kind of what I have going on in my Kindle right now, which I like this but it could be better. So we're gonna redo the stickers, but I got these really cute stickers that came with 64 of them, I think, on Amazon, and they're around like $6. And I'll link them down below for you guys, but they're so freaking cute. So I'll show you some of the ones I love. This one says emotional support Kindle, like that's so cute. This is cute, it's like a little tarot card thing that says the Kindle. There's more of these little tarot cards too throughout it. I think this is one I'm definitely gonna use. This is slow burn. This little candle that says books, that's so cute. Every story has the potential for infinite endings. I'm like pretty sure this is a quote from Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is a quote from Once Upon a Broken Heart. I just looked it up. So I might have to use that. This one I love. Let's go book shopping. That's so cute. Then there's a bunch of stickers in here that are like giving early 2000s like Polly Pocket vibes or Powerpuff. Like this is Powerpuff Girls. Like tell me that's not. This one to me is Barbie. Like I think that's the Barbie font. This one's Polly Pocket. Like I love this, so cute. I also love this little ghost carrying books. I don't know which ones to use because I love so many of these. This is like a cute little accent one with like just little patterns on the books. They have some of these little hearts that I really like. Hot Girls Read, these ones are all cute. Oh, this little cake one is really cute too. It's got a book for every situation. I love that one. Why am I showing you every single sticker? I just, I don't know, I have fun going through these. I might also put some of these on my reading journal that I'm like sure I'm not gonna use on my Kindle case ever because I think it'd be fun to decorate that too. So I think I might replace pretty much every single sticker on here. The other thing that I think might be cute is I have this little Polaroid of my cat and I thought that might be cute to put on there but we'll see if I can fit it. Kind of depends. <laughs>
Okay, I'm thinking this is what we're gonna go with. And I'm gonna just tape all these down. I love this. I got this picture of Junie in here, which I'm obsessed with. Obviously, anything that has her on it, like, sign me up. So I think this is gonna be it. I'm gonna put my Kindle case on. Okay, so I've been really, really in the mood to do my reading journal and I have quite a bit to update in it. I use my reading journal for like my regular journal too. So I have like my like monthly memory started too and I'm behind to say the least. I haven't done anything for June except for my cover page and TBR. And we literally got engaged, we went on two trips and I have so many things like printed out for my like June pages so I just need to do them because these kept getting like crinkled in my desk and I don't know if I'll get that far but I'm at least gonna update the things like throughout my journal that I need to update like adding in my other five star reads and adding in my like books that I've read and all of that so we're gonna do that now. So happy with all of the pages that I did so I've been kind of inspired lately to start almost like junk journaling in addition to my reading journal I've said this before but this is my regular journal too like this is my memory journal and I've done that since the beginning of the year and my reading journal I like to combine them because I just like to have everything all in one place I used to separate everything and I just I feel like it's too stressful so I just did things like added in my reads for the month this is my favorite page in my journal honestly and it's like my little bookshelf so I just added these in and then I had to cross off more on my 24 books to read in 2024 this I just wrote in the title of a curse for true love because that was my favorite read of June but I need to like stick it in here but I don't have it printed I'm gonna have to have Justin print that to put it in there because I always have him print stuff for me at work then I added in more of my five star reads of the year, which again, I have to add a curse for true love, which I wrote in here. I also like, I've changed my rating of some books, which is kind of bothering me. In the front, all the books, the colors of them are labeled based on like their rating. And fourth wing, the longer I had sat on it, the more I realized it was a five star. The one thing that I like docked the rating for, like I don't really care that much looking back on it, so. I pasted it in here and then A Curse for True Love, I originally gave like a 4.75, but I realized it was a five because I literally still can't stop thinking about that and that hasn't happened in a while. Reckless was also a five, so that's in there too. Also, let me know if you guys would want like a full th like flip through of this. I'll probably do it once I like fill it up and that it's like completely full because I feel like it'll, you know, be a nice longer video. But I was thinking about doing a mid-year one, but I don't know. Anyway, this is my series tracker I had to fill in that I finished Once Upon a Broken Heart and that I finished Powerless, at least the books that are out in it right now. I updated my physical TBR and added in the books I bought, but also highlighted the ones that I read and then updated this page, which is my tracker like of how many books I read each month and then how many books I read total. And then obviously I had to also update this page, which is just where I keep track of all the books that I read throughout the year and like my ratings and everything basically like my mini like Goodreads page. The pages that I did like from scratch were this page which was our trip from Anna Maria Island which I love. I'm kind of just blocking out the text that I forget what I wrote. So this was about our engagement and I added that in. Oh I forgot that it did that. I was like what just happened? I did this little like 
pulley thing that like folds and then the pictures will fall out when you're looking at the page because I had so many pictures of our engagement that I wanted to add into this journal and they didn't all fit so I couldn't do like 10 pages of our engagement. This was our cruise. I did this page was just for like the actual like cruise you know just being on the boat and stuff which I actually love how this page came out and then I did one for Grand Cayman which I did a full page for that and then our other port was Cozumel so I did a full page for that which is also really cool and we had like the map so I cut out like pieces of the map to put on here and then this is our like wristband from the excursion our ticket from the excursion and then just like some pictures so those are all the pages that I did and I really love the way that they all came out and I love that I'm doing more of like a junk journal sort of thing because I really want this to be like super full and to have like a bunch of memories in it okay I never updated you guys because I got a couple books on Amazon because I had a gift card and originally I was gonna get only books and spend the entire gift card on books but i ended up buying a walking pad so i actually had a little bit left over so i bought a couple books but i only got two i was gonna make a whole book haul video but i only got two books so we're gonna slap it in this video so the first one that i got i've already read and that's powerless by lauren roberts i've lost track if i've talked about reckless in this video but i also bought that recently i think i showed it already but i wanted to buy powerless to like complete the series on my shelf i don't have powerful this one has the little sword underneath it i just got the regular version of it i love the barnes and noble like special editions but i don't know maybe i'll eventually get those but i'm just getting like the classic covers at the moment and then i also on amazon picked up heartless hunter which i haven't read yet this one is one that i'm so excited to read i'm really anticipating this and i'm really thinking that i will love this so this is like a five star prediction for me and i'm really hoping that i really like it but i picked that one up too and i don't know if i showed you my stickers but i ended up putting stickers on this too because I wanted it to be cute on the front and I tried to pick ones I knew I wasn't gonna put on my Kindle anymore because I've had this one on my Kindle for a long time and this one. They've had their time on the Kindle so yeah I think it came out cute. So I bought another book but I have a good excuse for this one. I started A Good Girl's Guide to Murder the other day. I haven't gotten very far into it because I ended up starting another book for another video which you guys will see in this. I'm also th I think I might film a whole vlog reading this series and just like give spoilers and stuff but let me know if you guys would rather me do like a spoiler vlog or just like include this and in more of like a mood reading vlog like with other books but I started this and I'm really really enjoying it. So I was buying my nails. I have to do my nails today and I was buying the nails that I use and it's like $5. So I'm like, I can't just order $5 for the stuff. Better to order more at once if you're already gonna order it anyway. So I picked up Good Girl Bad Blood because I figured I'll just jump right into that when I finish this one. I'm excited to get further into the series and to film a reading vlog, reading those. I also got some bookish like shirts that I really need to show you guys. I'm waiting for the other one in the mail right now but I already have one of them but once I get the other one I'll show you both because I love them so much and I'm so happy that I got to like shop from a small business. Actually two different small businesses on Etsy and I'm in love with the one shirt that I already have so I'm hoping that I'll really like the other shirt from the other company but I'll show you guys those once I get them. Okay, I want to include this in some vlog and I honestly don't know what vlog to include it in, but we got a couple new things recently and I just wanted to show you guys. So our apartment's kind of crazy because of this, but I recently got a walking pad and I put it on top of a yoga mat so just it would, you know, protect the floor but also not make as much noise. And then now we can watch YouTube while I walk. So I have JC's video on right now and she always does really nice like long 
vlog so definitely subscribe to her if you don't already we also got a digital frame because i've been wanting to display some more of our like memories and like photos so this is perfect it also has the time and the temperature I really specifically wanted like a light wood around the frame and then i like how it has a mat and then like i said you can see the time and the weather on it so that's so nice too you can flip through them and look at all of the pictures and it's super cute that one's from Brazil too but i think since i've been journaling more and doing more of like i don't know like scrapbooking our memories i've been really wanting to have more photos on display but we honestly don't have a lot of space for photos and i also don't want to like keep printing them so this is perfect we also made candles last night and i wanted to show you guys these are actually tea light holders that we picked up from home goods and I feel like they look like they're anthropology and I'm obsessed. So we made them into candles. We didn't use enough wax for either of them, honestly, but we, it's a learning curve. I wanna figure out how to make them a little more flat, but they came out really nice. I'm very excited to light them and read my book later, but I wanted a little display here. I honestly might put this away and just leave the candles out, but I don't know. Okay guys, I just got my other bookish shirt in the mail and I'm wearing it right now. And I'm obsessed, so I have to show you guys both of the shirts that I got. The one that I'm wearing right now, I love you in book quotes. And it's all these quotes from popular books. I'll show you the back. This is the back. It has a bunch of like books that I've read, some books that I haven't read. But I'm obsessed. I think it looks really cute with these little red shorts. And that's why I went with the white and red rather than I was going to get this in pink with the red writing, which I also think would be so cute. But... I thought it'd be cute with these shorts, so I did that. I also got it in an extra large because just look how comfy that is, first of all. I wanted to be able to wear it like almost like over bikinis and also just to bed. And honestly, it just reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to wear like my parents' shirts to bed. I used to always do that. Comment if you did that. It's just cozy. It's like the ultimate coziness so because i was reading the sizing chart for these shirts and it said to size up two sizes if you really want it to be like really oversized so that's what i did and i'm happy that i did that so this shirt is like the same size it fits really similarly to this and this one valeris art festival and it says like sponsored by archeron art center i just think this is so cute and then it has all the paints obviously because Feyre an artist but i just love how subtle this is because you could literally wear this out and people wouldn't know that it's like a book reference unless they've read the book which is fun because then you can maybe find other people that have read your favorite books but i really really like this shirt and i think it's so cute so i'll definitely be wearing these a ton mostly probably around the house and like to bed because they're so cozy even to the gym it would be perfect to wear. So yeah, those are some of my bookish shirts. I definitely want to start collecting more because they're just so comfy and cozy. I'm excited about them and I wanted to share, but honestly, that's about it for this video. I feel like we've accomplished all of the bookish things that I really wanted to do. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you'd like to see more kind of just like general bookish vlogs of like going out and doing book things because i had so much fun filming this definitely subscribe down below if you want to see more book and lifestyle content and i will see you all in my next one Bye.